stem cell therapy might well be the treatment of the future, but there is little information that it is uh, available, that it is the miracle drug of the present. And that's not uh, stopping clinics from pushing it for patients and collecting a big payment afterwards. Contact 7 investigates Ryan Luby has been exposing serious concerns with stem cell therapy for several months now. And Ryan, a local doctor tells you it's time for state lawmakers to step in here. Right, to keep people from getting scammed. Because the people who study stem cells here in Colorado say the popular products currently on the market are often backed by bogus claims that will waste a lot of your money. Look how I'm walking. Just like a broken record. I walk straight, I sit straight. Try it. I you won't be sorry. We hear stem cell success stories ad nauseum anymore. Yeah, it's really out of control. And Dr. Chris Centeno in Broomfield has had just about enough. Initially it was growing responsibly, but now it's growing irresponsibly. He specializes in all kinds of regenerative medicine and research. He's talking about the stem cell products that suddenly started flooding Colorado derived from amniotic donor tissues. They're frequently marketed in hotel ballrooms. Who here thinks that 30 plus years is too long for pain? Where, for instance, undercover, we found staff for a local licensed chiropractor, not a medical doctor, claiming the third-party stem cell products can treat not just orthopedic issues, but diabetes, COPD, erectile dysfunction, and even Alzheimer's. It's the wild, wild west. Trouble is, Dr. Centeno says stem cell products like that, derived from another human being's tissues, are legally required to be dead, and FDA rules back that up. Thus, he says the products are incapable of doing really anything for you long term, except costing you thousands of dollars per injection. I welcome good competition. Uh, physicians who become knowledgeable in this area trying to do good work. What I don't welcome is the bait and switch scams. And it's actually my concern that those bait and switch scams are going to destroy the entire industry, even for physicians who are trying to do good work. Centeno points to legislation introduced in Florida just last year. It would have cracked down on non-physicians running for-profit stem cell clinics, essentially requiring those clinics to follow a host of rules to prevent patients from buying into misleading medical claims. The bill died in committee, but Centeno says it needs to take priority there, and certainly here. At least one Colorado legislator is looking at it. It needs to be done yesterday. We have consumers who are getting scammed, losing their life savings on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, Dr. Centeno says third-party stem cell products can have short-term anti-inflammatory benefits, but says you could get the exact same benefit from a real doctor using your own blood and plasma at a fraction of the cost. And those kinds of therapies have actual science behind them. Wow. So many questions still. Absolutely. All right, nice work. Thanks, Ryan. So have you or someone you know gone through stem cell treatment? Tell us your experience by calling the number you see on your screen there. You can also send us an email at contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.